use is a fermented fruit juice. You can use uh, three different kinds of fruit that time, ripe ones. But I'm doing fermented uh, plant juice. The character you have to look for is the vigorous growing plant, like a sweet potato. You cannot kill this sweet potato. You harvest everything, it will start growing back. And then like the watercress is another uh, Aggressive ones on mugwort is another good one. You cannot kill mugwort. They use for uh, medicine uh, in Chinese. Like uh, when you do acupuncture, they dry it. They, they use acupuncture point for new stuff. And then um, also when the woman gave a birth, they bathe it in mugwort. It regenerates new cells uh, produce very fast. But this is the uh, fast growing uh, plant. Has a growing, very very strong growing hormone. That's why we use. Also, if you look at it, this plant has a hardly uh, bug attack. Yeah, so bug doesn't like this plant somehow. So that is good thing too. So when we make a, a this fermented plant juice, we use equal amount of brown sugar. And then we chop it about two inches, what not. So when I, oh wow, what is that? Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, that's beautiful. Butterfly. What is that? Is butterfly? Oh, it's caterpillar going to turn wow, into a butterfly. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> I never seen this thing. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So actually when I uh, in the beginner I use just half gallon of jar. And then um, this one over takes about two pounds of material actually, but then this one is light one, so it wouldn't take two pounds I think. But equal amount of uh, material and the brown sugar. So when I put it in, I layer it. First, I toss some brown sugar and turn like this. And then it will start welt. The liquid started to come out from the leaves. It's a osmotic pressure action is going on. Really soon. The one that I just made is already it's going down. This maybe yeah. it's, it's like that. It's amazing it's how fast it mm. just. So when you use a leaf material, you need to pack it in like that. Pack it like this. Yeah. So when you are doing good. Get a one gallon jar and then I layer it on top. After one layer of the uh, leafy material, and then I layer with the brown sugar a little. And then pack it and put more green leaves. So when I collect this uh, material, I collect early in the morning when morning dew is still on. <clears throat> also in the morning, they have the uh, most nutrient in their body. We are uh, extracting all these uh, minerals and uh, microbes and uh, lactic acid bacteria and yeast uh, from their leaves. So we don't wash uh, our material. When you wash, you wash away all those good microbes. So also we don't pick the uh, material at, right after rain, because uh, all those microbes are washed away. So we wait maybe one day, and then, then we start collecting again. The microbes are everywhere in the air in your body and your guts, but they are very, very important ones to survive.
So Master Cho says something you don't see, like the air and microbes, that's the, all the nutrients. And also have to have a good smells. Do not use bad smell stuff. So when you make a, a large quantity, make it's uh, easier when you let it turn like this. It will weld more, yeah. And then you can put more stuff in the jar. So even this one, we put it all the way up, pack it up, and that's osmotic pressure uh, makes it goes down like that. The liquid is already down there. How long have and you I'm been? I'm going to layer it and then uh, actually we are fermenting for one week. Do not skip one week. You want them to ferment really, really well. And they turning into very mild alcohol. And the uh, plant loves the mild alcohol. And then, see, you just keep going in. It's Bottomless jar. <laughs> and then you layer it with the sugar. But they, more sugar is better than less sugar. Yeah? Because the less sugar, if you put less sugar, you will see the, um, some kind of uh, more growing on top. Yeah, so when you see right away, you just add more sugar on top and you will oh, disappear the, those molds. But if it has a green mold take away, you want the, you just, if you're going to keep the mold, keep the white ones. You just a little bit more. Wow, oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> the caterpillar is crawling away. Oh, going away. <laughs> yeah, I think better to put it back. Poor thing. <laughs> Leave it in the water. You will eat it. Kim, do you put the date of when you make this? Doesn't uh, matter. That one I already mixed, so I didn't put the date. I should have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they, um, some uh, farmer order from me, but they don't have time to make it. Yeah, so it's probably maybe a week ago, probably I made that one. Wow. Yeah. Very good. So, okay. Now you need to put extra sugar on top and then you put a breathable paper material. Clean all this so the bulk doesn't go in. Exercise bands. Exercise bands. You know, oh. you use for physical therapy. The baby gets a nice tight. Oh. Mm. The don't go in. Mm. And then uh, <clears throat> you need to write down what it is always. <laughs> and a uh, red pen. Right there. Oh. Thank you. So it's uh, October first, two zero one five. For fermented plant juice, sweet potato. So uh, October seventh, 
uh, you need to extract this liquid. Yeah, and then um, um, you can uh, discard this material or you can use in the mulch, whatever. But juice, after you bottle it, you cannot close the lid tight. If you close the lid tight, the gas keep coming out, it's going to explode. Really, it's not, I'm not kidding. It happened to me, it's a very dangerous thing. So always leave the, um, the lid untight. I mean, not close to tight, yeah. So air can come out. So, so there's a, I think, I had a, uh, yeah, this is a uh, fermented plant juice, the finished product. And then, yeah, you can, this one I made with the noni, young noni, so you can use for flowering stage, yeah? You use the, the, the leaf. The leaf, not the flower. The, the, the fruit the, or the leaf? The, oh, this one I made with the uh, young fruit. Remember oh, young green fruit, fruit? Green fruit, green fruit is for the uh, flowering stage. And the flower you can use for flowering stage. So if the banana flower is good to use a uh, flowering stage, which you yeah. And then this is a uh, uh, fermented plant juice, same same way. And how you make equal amount of brown sugar. And then this one, um, I'm not sure what I use. I use jabata kava or just a sweet mixture of. Uh, I forgot to write down what it is. So very important <laughs> to write what you use. So this one, uh, when uh, your fruit is starting to change color, fruit change color from green to, you know, start showing yellow or whatever, then you start giving this one and make it sweeter. Okay, I'll be up in that room. And then um, I, there's a mixture for uh, fruiting stage is uh, fruiting, no, type three. Yeah, this is the one. Has a brown, the OHM brown rice vinegar fermented plant juice water soluble calcium, and then this one 